Hello students, welcome to Learners Planet. In today's session, I am going to compare the basic features of monocots and the dicots. I hope you remember these two terms, monocots and the dicots. These are the plants that comes under the uh, division uh, that is angiosperms. You know what we mean by angiosperms or which plants come under this particular division? Yes. The plants which are able to bear seeds and the seeds are enclosed inside the fruit. So such type of plants having these types of uh, seeds are coming under the division that is angiosperms. Now further, depending upon the number of cotyledons present inside the seeds, these plants are subclassified. Right? And what are those classes? What are those branches or those divisions further? They are the monocots and the dicots. Monocots are those which are having a single cotyledon. Whereas dicot is the one which is having two, two cotyledons. But just uh, uh, following the meaning of these terms is not actually satisfactory. It is not clearly understood that exactly what type of uh, characteristics are there in such plants. And moreover, by following the meaning, are you really able to understand the, uh, that which type of plant will come under which category? So in today's session, I am going to discuss about the basic differences between the uh, monocots and the dicots or in simple terms I am going to uh, highlight some of the important features so that you can understand, you can classify the plants, you can identify the plants on those particular basis. The properties that I am going to discuss now. So let me show you one picture or the table so that the things becomes very very clear. So here is this chart. Uh, in first of all, we say all, I always uh, say this thing that monocots they are having a single cotyledon, whereas dicots they have two cotyledons. Now, exactly what is meant by this particular point? See, if you uh, look at the seat, you will find out that there is an outer covering, right? And that outer covering is known as the testa, or you can call it as the cuticle. So when uh, when you remove this outer covering, you will see <coughs> under uh, inside that uh, under this cover the part is present and that part can be split it into two parts or it remains a single intact piece, right? So if these are the cotyledons. If it is single, then it is a monocot. If it is uh, divided or it splits into two, then it is a dicot, right? Now further. Uh, the plants, they, uh, these seeds are actually present in the plants or they are produced by the plants, right? So these plants are having the specific features. Cotyledon is of course related to the embryos or the cotyledons, right? Now the next is the leaf. By looking at the leaf, we can distinguish between the monocot and the dicot. How? Uh, there is a venation, uh, venation uh, pattern in the leaves, right? I hope you understand what is this venation. There are the veins which are present here in the plants or the leaves, right? And you <coughs> must have seen that uh, these uh, veins, they have different pattern, right? So if these veins are arranged in a parallel form, then they must be a monocot. And if the veins are present randomly in the net form or in the reticulate pattern, then they are supposed to belong to the group dicot. So now you understand what is actually the veins. Veins are basically the uh, these uh, uh, fi thin fibers which are present in the leaf part. Right. So actually, well, these veins, they are arranged in a particular pattern. See, in this uh, case, it might not be very clear in this leaf. So basically, see how these are arranged. This is the leaf structure, right? And this is the midrib here. And these are the veins which are present. So if they are present in, the, uh, in a way that is parallel to each other, then definitely these must belong to the group monogod. 
and if it is uh, uh, in a reticulate pattern you must have observed see it is given here but uh, it will be more uh, clear if i show you it in this way see if it is like this and the pattern is something like this got my point so if this is the pattern that is in the reticulate that is in the branched form or in the net form then it must belong to the group dicot so this is one of the way that after uh, by looking at the plants uh, uh, different parts you can understand that it must belong to which uh, category that is monocot or the dicot beside that uh, if uh, uh, we compare the stem structure of course for that we have to follow the ts structure and we have to observe it under the microscope so if we follow this particular technique then over there we are going to concentrate over the vascular bundles see i can simply explain that this vascular bundle it is actually uh, scattered in case of monocots whereas it is arranged in the form of rings in the case of dicot so if you observe it in the, under the microscope if this ts is having this type of ring pattern that means it is uh, properly arranged in this circular pattern then it should be a dicot plant and if it is present in the random pattern that is it is scattered in this ts section then of course you can say that it must be a monocot plant the next thing that we can, uh, we can observe uh, uh, with the naked eyes is the roots if these roots are fibrous right then it must be a monocot plant and if there is a tap root system right there is one uh, prominent uh, uh, root here which is having these fibers then such type of tap root is actually the characteristic feature of dicot plant then comes the flowers so if the flowers uh, see each flower is having the petals it is a well known fact right so if these uh, uh, floral parts they are arranged in the multiple of 3 that means 3 3 sets are there in each ring in the flower then it must be uh, a monocot plant and if these petals they are arranged in uh, uh, multiples of 4 or 5 then it must be a dicot plant you understand basically what we mean by this thing see in this flower uh, can you observe uh, these white uh, petals are shown here 1 2 3 4 and 5 so first uh, uh, set is made up of 5 then second set of petals which is shown here with the another color is again a multiple of 5 so if these petals are arranged in the multiples of 4 or 5 or more then of course this must be a dicot and if it is arranged in the three uh, petals then it is a monocot plant so either by looking directly at the structure of uh, uh, external features or the external structures and uh, you can actually dis uh, distinguish between the monocot and the dicot besides that by looking at its microscopic structure or different uh, uh, embryonic structures definitely you are able to you will be able to dif uh, distinguish between the monocots and the dicots uh so this is uh, all about the comparison of monocot and uh, dicots i hope this topic will actually help you to learn these characteristic features of the two things see when you study through the uh, practical aspects definitely things become quite more easy to understand it we will i will come back with the next topic in the next session till then thank you so much have a nice day goodbye